Yeah, so let's look at, just like we haven't really dealt with stand up, the clinch. And again, I don't want to go in a rabbit hole from here, but again, we'll be playing the whole game. I'm looking two on ones. Simon's not letting me make grips. Let's just say I managed to get past the hands and I won the underhook. Very much like when we were on the ground. You know, first thing is, I don't want um, Simon winning the underhook on me. There's no way I'm pulling, or, uh, we're going to look at pulling the butterfly guard sweep from standing. If he's the underhook, there's no way I'm doing it. So I will be staying tight. I'm looking for the elbow, but if he goes to pummel out my elbows on the inside. Now, I need to make a wedge. The worst thing I can do is pull Simon on top of me and then hit the sweep because I'm landing flat on my back on the bigger guy. I'm just asking for trouble. So when we get the underhook from this position and have my hand here, I'm gonna make a wedge with my foot on Simon's hip or on his um, far leg. And as I fall back, I'm falling onto my side, putting in my butterfly hook and sweeping him as he falls. The problem is, how the heck do I get, unless I've done yoga, this foot here, I'm very off balance. And anytime I put one foot here, he can step in and take my other leg. So the detail is, I put my head in his throat and I push so he steps back with that leg. If he doesn't step back far enough, I keep pushing until he does. Just circle this way, bro. So once, I, once I've got that leg further back, my foot comes here, but I'm not staying on my other leg for long. The minute this foot comes in, I'm pulling him onto my side, and I just put him, my, put him over. And now we are into super chill. One of those moves, you have to go for it. If you hang around and stall, you're gonna get your supporting leg swept when I come up. So let's just say I'm getting past the whole how to win the underhook from standing, that rabbit hole. Let's just say I won that underhook, which would be a battle on its own. I don't want the underhook on me. So when I underhook, I'm keeping my elbow tight. Again, Simon will probably be digging for it, and I want the elbow, and I'm pushing it to the inside. If the foot's further, um, far enough back, I will put my foot in. If it's not, I push him that way to create the space. Now my foot comes up in one movement, I'm pulling and loading him onto me, but I'm turning onto my side and my butterfly hook's in here. As he's falling, I rotate him. So we're here, I push in, foot comes up, and now as I pull him onto me, I just take it over. And we're into super chill. One more time on that, bro. So from our clinch, I won the underhook. Again, if he wins the underhook on me, I'll probably have to re-pummel and win it on this side. Again, we're into the whole pummeling end of things. So I don't want to get into that battle. So I'm pushing. Notice the way my head is on the same side as the underhook. I just give him a little nudge to make him step back with that leg. Foot comes up, and now from here, I just go. Oh, now we're into super chill, broken scarf. So... Pulling butterfly guard from the clinch.